Hi children, in today's lesson we are going to look at the punctuation question mark. When you write a question, at the end you have to write a question mark. So today we are going to look at all question. Punctuation question mark should come at the end of every question that you write. Let's look at our first picture here. Let's read with this teacher. Let's read with her. A sentence that asks question ends with a question mark. So, question, this is a sentence. A sentence that asks question ends with a question mark. So, a sentence, we are going to write sentence, but if the sentence is asking a question, then we put this question mark. That's what the teacher says. Read together. A sentence that asks question ends with a question mark. So, end of, at the end of every question, let's remember to put this question mark. The sign is called question mark. Let's look at our first picture. I hope you will enjoy this exercise. It's very interesting. Look, you have to ask question, give the answer, place the question mark. Look, what do we see here? Lots of books. Let's read the question. How many books are there in the shelf? How many books are there in the shelf? Remember, this is a sentence too. It begins with a capital letter. It ends with a punctuation question mark. So, question is also a sentence. If the sentence asks a question, place the question mark at the end. Look, how many books are there in the shell? Count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we write the word 8. The sentence, this is the sentence that begins with the cap letter. And it makes sense. How many books are there in the shell? So, we put the punctuation question mark here. Capital letter in the beginning and ends with a question mark. How many books are there in the shelf? Eight books. Are you enjoying? Let's look at our next picture. Let's read the sentence. And let's put the question mark at the end of the sentence because this sentence is asking a question. What is the color? of this rose. What is the color of this rose? What is the first word? Begins with the capital letter. The question ends with a question mark. Punctuation question mark. So, what is the color of this rose? Red. How do you spell red? R-E-D. Red. Good. So, you write here red. The sentence Take into the cap letter. This sentence is asking a question. So we put the question mark. Are you enjoying this? Good. Let's go on to a new picture. Look. What do you see here? Nuts over here. What is the name of this nut? Begin. The sentence begins with the cap letter. But this sentence is asking a question. So we end it with the Punctuation question mark. What is the name of this nut? Almonds. So we write here. Almonds. Yes. You like almonds? Yes. It's very nice, tasty nut. Good. What is the name of this nut? Almonds. The sentence is asking a question. So it ends with a question mark. 
Shall we go on to a new picture, children? Did you enjoy? Yes, a very interesting exercise. Remembering to put a question mark if the sentence asks a question. Good. Look at this picture. When do we celebrate our Independence Day? Look at the parade here. When do we celebrate our Independence Day? The first word, when. It begins with a capital letter. The sentence asks a question. So we have a punctuated question mark at the end. Now read. When do we celebrate our Independence Day? We celebrate the Independence Day on 15th August. So we write 15th August. Good. Let's go on to a new picture. Let's look at the sentence. And if it is the sentence asking a question, we must put a question mark. The sentence begins with a capital letter. What does the fruit give us? It's a question. So we put a question mark, punctuation question mark at the end. What does the fruit give us? What does the fruit give us? The fruit give us vitamins. If you eat all the fruit, you get a lot of vitamins. What does the fruit give us? W. Capital letter, in the first word in the sentence. The sentence is asking a question. So we put a question mark at the end. What does the fruit give us? Fruit give us vitamin. Good. Let's go on to a, another picture. Read the sentence. And if the sentence is asking a question, we place a question mark at the end. The sentence begins with the capital letter, which. Which is the capital of India? It's asking a question, so we place a question mark at the end. What is the punctuation we are working on? Placing question mark. The sentence is asking a question. Which is the capital of India? Delhi. Yes, Delhi. New Delhi. New Delhi is the capital of India. Good. Are you enjoying this exercise of putting the punctuation question mark at the end? Good. Let's take a new picture. Read the sentence. If the sentence asks a question, let's place a question mark at the end. Where is the Himalayas located? The sentence begins with a capital letter. First letter is capital where. The last, it's asking a question. So we put the punctuation mark, question mark at the end. Where is the Himalayas located? Himalayas is located in North India. Now, North India, we have the Himalayas. Look at the lovely picture of Himalayas. Let's take another picture. Read the sentence. And if the sentence is asking a question, Let's place a question mark at the end. What is the first word? W begins with a capital letter. What is the parrot eating? So it's asking a question. We put a question mark. What is the parrot eating? Parrot eating. Look, guava. Guava, lovely fresh guava is nicely pecking on it. What is the parrot eating? Parrot is eating guava. This sentence begins with a capital letter, ends with a question mark because the sentence is asking a question. So we are putting the punctuation mark question at the end of the sentence. What is the parrot eating? Good. Let's go on to a new picture. Look at the picture. Let's read the sentence. If the sentence is asking a question, then we will place a question mark Punctuation question mark at the end of the sentence. What is the name of this beverage? What? First word W, capital letter. After the word beverage, we put a question mark because it is asking a question. What is the name of this beverage? The name of this beverage is coffee. Look at all the coffee nuts here. Coffee. 
what is the name of this beverage coffee what begins with the cap letter ends with the full uh, with a question mark punctuation question mark what is the name of this beverage coffee let's go on to a new picture let's look at the sentence but if it is asking a question let's place a question mark at the end do you like sweets do that's the first word so the first letter we write capital do you like sweets it's asking a question so we put the punctuation mark question at the end now tell me children do you like sweet yes we all like sweets yes we all like sweets so we write yes good do you like sweet yes we like sweets the sentence the begin to the cap letter into the question mark because the sentence is asking a question do you like sweets yes shall we go on to a new picture i hope you are enjoying the exercise and placing question mark at the end good look at this the lovely fruit we have here what is the name of this fruit here is a sentence that begins with a capital letter what is the name of this fruit the sentence is asking a question so we place a question mark punctuation question mark at the end now answer me what is the name of this fruit good pineapple the name of this fruit is pineapple let's go on to a new picture we are doing punctuation question mark at the end here we have a sentence that begins with the cap letter and if the sentence is asking a question then we place the punctuation question mark at the end let's read what should we eat during summer yes the sentence is asking a question so punctuation question mark what should we eat during summer we, during summer we should eat fruits lots of fruits fresh fruits the sentence begins with a cap letter and is asking a question so we place a question mark at the end what should we eat during summer so we place the question mark here during summer we should eat lot of fresh fruit i hope you enjoyed placing punctuation question mark at the end of every question